<laughs> I always thought about buying one of those butts. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I can't. I never did because I'm like, am I going to spend $395 on that butt? I mean, that would kind of be cool. Yeah, but I'm not going to spend the money on it. And then well, like, maybe we should start it. a go fund me, a go butt. Go fund me, a go, go, go butt me to get AJ a fake butt. Yeah. Is the Bill Squire Show? You know, like part of it, because I had an idea for a joke all week about that. But, I mean, obviously, I'm glad that OnlyFans is, you know, like, back so yeah. you can make money. <laughs> so, I mean, if I had to sacrifice that joke, so be it. No, you could, we can pretend. Yeah, just go ahead. Yeah, and we're going right to pretend. Uh, well, no, I mean, it, it's not funny, though, because mm-hmm. OnlyFans is still uh, around. Right, but we but can we can use our imagination. Okay, so I'm, uh, what is and the pretend joke? pretend it's back, back to last week. Okay, so let me let me try to improv the actual structure because i had the idea i didn't write okay. the actual joke well so that should tell lies that should actually work well for this week because all i have are ideas so, <laughs> all right, i got a lot of stuff going on so there are I, jokes i have jokes in my head but i didn't have time to like sculpt them so i'm gonna kind of craig uh, ferguson this week uh, so so the joke is something akin to only fans decided they're gonna ban porn from their platform and it sucks for all the creators on OnlyFans um, and left a lot of them wondering where else are we going to, you know, be able to do this except for literally every other place on the <laughs> Internet. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Something like that. That wasn't uh, obviously. That, that was your best joke you've ever written. Was it? Ever. Yeah. It's about time you finally wrote a good one. <laughs> I feel like I'm just nice to you guys and I'm getting ribbed lately. What? You're the ribbed. one that has had the tood, Buster. I've had the tood. Yeah. I've not had the tood. You guys did like a whole episode where you kept mocking me going, it's my show. <laughs> that is true. That is true. So don't. Well, if you sort of stop being such a little bitch well, I can't on your show. Uh, that I identify as a little bitch. Oh, <laughs> my, name is, my name is Bill Squire and I'm. Uh, you know I'm what? I don't, like, I don't like your attitude right now. Make your chair lower. That's better. Nice. Now you're the, the lowest. Same. You're lower than Tommy now. All right. <laughs> All right make it because to... you're totally <laughs> hidden by her. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. I mean, backward. Wait, are we time. actually doing the show right now? Oh, we're recording right now. We're just oh, waiting for okay. uh, RB to get here. And uh, we have the meat. <laughs> yeah. Just, just waiting. Uh, I got to pull up the. So RB yeah. is going to be our guest. We haven't had a guest in a while. We've never had a guest as the trio. As yeah. Not, not so as this is like a big deal. It is insane. Yeah. I had, I had my third day on my new job today. Oh, really? Yeah. How many animals? Oh, dude. A lot. Yeah. Like a lot. <laughs> but dude, animals it's be really, dying, yo. It's really easy. Of course it is. I just go. To the, they, they're not going to run away from you. No, oh I just God, no. I go to the vet. And uh, well, let's just reset. Uh, AJ's new job is picking up dead animals. Yeah. Pets. Yes. Well, not yeah. not like on the side of the road. Like I go to vet clinics. Yes. And like I pick up the animal that they had to put down yeah. and I bring it to the crematory. Um, it's the easiest is job. Is it the crispy crematory? It's the crispy crematory. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. the, uh, the, the, the hot signs always on. Mm-hmm. Um, no, but it's like they just go in and they're in a bag. Yeah. And I'm just, just like, wait, hold that. Wait, I think we already said this, but are they like body bags or just? Yeah, they're kind of they're kind of like body bags. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, just happy bags. We'll call them happy bags. Yeah, they're happy bags. And it's your eternal resting place. <laughs> um, I did. Well, yeah, eternal. It's not for a little while till they get to I don't, set on fire. I want to say the story, but I don't know if I can. Yeah, I think I can. No, I didn't sign an NDA or anything. Okay, <laughs> so. So I go to a vet clinic and I, I pick up one of the bags and the vet's just like, be careful. That dog doesn't have a head. 
I'm like, what? I like <laughs> look at them. I'm like, why does this dog not have? A but head? also, why be careful because it doesn't have a head? What is a headless dog gonna do to you? Because it could like leak out of the bag. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. they don't have headless <laughs> bags. Yeah, yeah. And it moves around yeah. So, so they're just like, yeah, be careful. That dog doesn't it. have a head. <laughs> and then like I'm when like, you get like a glass bottle. <laughs> well, I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um so I, I take I take the dog and I, I look at the vet I'm like why does this dog not have a head and they're like oh it bit a child in the face mm. I'm like oh. I'm like okay that in, in my head I'm like situation yeah I didn't know that but I'm yeah. like okay that doesn't answer my question like why does this is has this dog been decapitated wait what about rabies apparently so, Bill uh, when you get bit by <laughs> something that might have rabies they need the head to test the animal. Oh yeah, they have to test the brain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, like, it's the CTE of dog bites. Yeah. <laughs> or bat bites. So I'm like, oh wow. So I get back to the, the to the to home base and I go to take the, the animal out and, and its blood just fucking leaked all over the back of the van. I'm like, great. Ooh. First great. day or second, second day. day. Second, second day. day. Second day problems. Yeah. Um no, actually there was like this wooden slat. Oh, it's wood. Um, oh, wood's even more expensive than carpet right now. <laughs> right? No, but it, like, <laughs> well, I mean, there's tons of it in the Amazon. Mm. Let's just, you know, <laughs> but no. That's I, a good point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just go get that wood. Yeah. No one's using it. No, I mean, I will just ask Jeff Bezos for his permission. Mm -hmm. um, no, there's like this wooden slat, like in the back of the van. And um, I don't know, I guess coincident, it just helped not get it on the carpet of the That's van. That's good. Yeah. Ugh. yeah it um i always get nervous sorry to that's really interesting and disgusting yeah, <laughs> uh, but i'm always nervous doing a, a thing like this like did i miss them trying to get into the room where are they are they trying where's mm. the person but it's right now they're not they're not here yet mm. uh might as well, let's knock out good meal janes while we're waiting yeah good meal janes pizza it's the best pizza bill Number one, you're not wearing your headphones. I know because we're going to listen to the interview <laughs> oh. this way. So thank you for screaming, though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you weren't wearing headphones. Oh, I, I didn't know still if you hear would hear me. No, I, we're I still can. in the same room. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So anyway, back to Good Meal Jane Pizza. Uh, they got some things going on right now. So they got some big things that they're going to announce soon. Uh, a new location, uh, other menu items it's going to be very exciting in the meantime you can order a good meal jane's pizza still get it from sauce in the city if you haven't had one yet it's incredible they, they do vegan pizzas yes, which they do so good so good and they, Bill, what you got a new camera yeah <laughs> anyway 888 for pizza two to get good meal jane's pizza uh and then follow them on instagram at good meal jane's it's the best pizza you'll have the night that you have that pizza. Bill, you turn the table around. This guy, nothing gets past you. My, my, how the tables have turned. <laughs> my, my, look at me, I'm table. standard size. You're, I know, you're a regular yeah, size. Like a, like a, well, so another thing that happened this week is YouTube has started this new thing called shorts. And so I've been posting like 60 second video well first i thought you could only do 15 second video so like the first three or four that i posted are like 15 seconds long mm -hmm. and some of them did really well like we, we've got a lot yeah. of views on those helped us get some new subscribers so if you're a new subscriber that's checking out the show because you saw one of our shorts i hope you enjoy it i hope Yay. you tell some other people and we can keep building this thing now the one that did the best is obviously the one that people hated the most. Yeah, we got some backlash. Did you see my 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 uh, replies? Yeah, yeah, my reply to that. I guy. didn't. Yeah. I didn't watch. Okay, so the I'll, I think I can play it right now. I don't know if it'll show up on the, but it's just where I was. We were talking about the real problem. Like the president was George, George Washington, Washington for starting it. this whole stupid country, mm -hmm. oh. and so uh, and I go, you found it shit, George. You found it shit. And I thought it would come across obvious that we're joking, considering we're giggling throughout the bit. Right. I wasn't giggling. I took it very seriously. <laughs> it was. I giggled a little bit. Yeah. No, it was funny. But it's yeah. funny. Like It didn't come across as like, 
we're really mad about it. Like we're, why, yeah. how could I be, here. How, yeah. how could I be mad at a, at a 300 year old powdered wig slave, right. slave owner? Uh, and so this guy left this comment that specific POS is literally called a founding father for a reason. And your lack of respect for your country is astounding. It's not about the functions of modern society. It's about this land being home and all the men and women of all colors and beliefs that call it such you guys need educating. And I said, educate yourself on when people are joking. And then AJ said, I think the lack of respect George Washington had for his slaves was astounding, which was the <laughs> slam dunk. Because, yes, yeah. yeah. um, I mean, but clearly he didn't mean it for all uh, colors and beliefs. For Christian white men. Right, yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, Take the good with the bad, I suppose. Right, right, right. <laughs> I mean, the founding fathers put their necks on the line. Like, let's not forget that. No, but also, but they like, we also, are joking about it. Yeah. Uh, this is the one I'll do last. I, I like that one. Which one is this? Uh, and then here's this Jason guy. Did I just see two soy boys, or as I affectionately call them, power bottoms? Whoa, dude, you are on fire just giggle their not way through is, fucking shitting on our country not only is he on fire but he's correct yeah <laughs> all i eat is soy about everything i like to think of myself as a soy man uh, yes i don't like being called a soy boy i've worked too hard <laughs> i've worked too fucking hard jason does, does soy boys mean chubby no so boy soy boys is like like another libtard type uh, so, yeah. because we have more estrogen apparently because oh. we eat like a soy based diet or oh. some dumb shit like that. Mm. So anyway, but and then the call them power bottoms. There's nothing more impressive than a power bottom. No, that's right. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's, there's, there's nothing more masculine. There's nothing. Than a power listen, bottom. what's what's the most someone that wants to get fucked in the ass and wants to push back right. hard and like aggressively like help like that. That takes a special kind of man. Bill, so, what's the most masculine thing in the world? Hot frothy jizz. I drink a cup of it a day, <laughs> and I, I. How do you get the froth? Well, you, you espresso you, machine. Yeah, it, you, you know, one of those like you, little you, spinny no, things that you don't it up? pour yeah. it. It's a bad pour. Is it a yeah. steam? Yeah, what is it steamed jizz? it's steamed I kind of, <laughs> it's steamed I, check it I don't out. want to try hey. it i just <laughs> check, hey, do you think starbucks can do it i don't know i don't know but i bet, I bet an independent place would right uh, yeah. and also oh. a great video for only fans. yes check, right or right. fansly or whichever fansly. one yeah check me, check me out on tommy's only fans yeah. <laughs> check out my jizz Sip on tommy's only the <laughs> art the fucking cappuccino yeah. art oh yeah uh, that'd be funny <laughs> okay and then this guy goes uh it was john hansen do you guys not remember that and john hansen is widely considered the first president because they had to make the country then elect someone and john hansen was a president of the founding group where do people go to school or do they just forget uh and then i said i'll make sure to call john hansen a piece of shit on my next episode so fuck you john hansen. fuck you john hansen you piece of shit you found it shit John Hansen. You found it shit, John Hansen. <laughs> your mbop. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he said, good on you. And he said, make sure you're clear. The white John Hansen, not the black one. Don't want to have something that can be taken out of context. At least, <laughs> least I like this guy. At least some of these guys that 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 are attacking us are are good sports when we yeah when we go come back. back yeah. yeah. It's like I had another guy. one say like there was one person that's like. Like I said, like, obviously you can't figure out, like, we're doing a little bit of satire here. It was like satire in a 10 second clip. I'm like, first of all, it's 15 seconds. <laughs> second yeah. of all, uh, the, the onion gets it across in like yeah. less than a three second headline. Yeah, you, you can get satire across I pretty mean, Don't right. get me wrong. We are not the the brilliant writers of the onion, but not yet. Right. Once they lower their standards, we're in, <laughs> <laughs> which eventually will happen because they won't be able to afford the good ones. Mm-hmm. So they will um, only be able to get me. Mm hmm. And uh, then I'll just piggyback my way in. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, uh, uh, so I like this guy. This guy's comments are great. But we got a ton of views this week because of that, uh, those shorts. So we'll keep nice. those coming. Yeah. And actually, uh, Tommy, I'm going to need you to cut a little promo where you say, uh, hey, everybody, thanks for checking out this clip. Make sure you subscribe to the Bill Spire Show. Okay. Because I think that would be a good thing to have mm-hmm. at the end of the video. Uh, I thought about having me do it. I thought about having AJ do it. But when it comes Oops. to the appeal, 
of wait what are you trying to say what sir? i'm trying to say is what are you where do you get off i'm using <laughs> sexism in reverse in this way where do you get wait off? no i'm using sexism the exact way sexism is supposed <laughs> to be should, used. You should, <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. I think right. I can cut a good promo. Let, well, let's hear your promo, and then we'll hear Tommy's. D- watch, watch the subscribe. Watch the subscribe. That's pretty good. Thanks. All right, Tommy, let's hear I mean, that something. was my first go. Yeah, let's see what Tommy's got. Hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week. Oh, That's okay. what I would do, just like that. Can I try it again? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. All right, you can try one more time. Can I do it one more time? Watch the the bill the bill uh, the uh, shit. Let me one more. Watch the Bill Squire show, or I'll fuck your dad. That was innovative. Thanks. Like let me exactly. get one more. Let me get one. Wait, more. let get, let Tommy do one more. Okay. okay. No, I don't right. know now. You can do the same thing. I'll take a couple different takes. Mm. Hey guys, make sure you like and subscribe. You, That's it. it. You have to say end scene. <laughs> Mm-hmm. End scene. That's how I know how to edit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, do, 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 do another one. Yeah, let's do one more. Hey, me. watch the Bill Squire show. Or I'll fuck your dad again. 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 How many times do you fuck their dads? It's a. I feel Make like sure that's you a good like way and to... subscribe to oh. find out next week. Weird. Make okay. sure you like and subscribe to catch me entering your dad's eager hole. Eager. <laughs> filling his <laughs> filling his man. His Hole. man sewer, Man-holes. his man sewer <laughs> with my his eager man sewer with my hot frothy ejaculate. Um, hot frothy ejaculate. Bill's texting while we're on the air. Well, I'm trying to get our guest on. I Are they one. okay? Yeah, that we're in this. You know, I'll just our guest is a legend. Uh, for, right off the bat, to, this is Tommy and AJ. Hello. Uh, what's up, Tommy and AJ? Tommy <laughs> thinks you're very hot. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're very funny. <laughs> Thank you. I think yeah. you're both. <laughs> Yay! You're the you're the total package. <laughs> That's right. You as guys they are say. Too. <laughs> uh, so RB has is coming to Hilarities next Thursday the second, right? That's right. September second. So you can get those tickets at hilarities.com. Uh. You recently started going by RB. Uh, people might know you more familiarly as Rhea Butcher. Uh, and uh, I'm, you know, I was listening to your new album today, Pull Yourself Up by Your Bootlegs, and it's fucking hilarious. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Uh, the it, You talk about shoplifting as a kid, and <laughs> yeah, you mentioned having a right. starter jacket, and I don't want to give the joke away. Uh, do you sure. remember what starter jacket it was? Oh yeah, of course I do, Bill. It was a Cleveland baseball team starter jacket. It was the pullover, the half zip, you know. And it yeah, was like I had, the second I had couple... or third iteration, you know. So it was like all black instead of like the white ones that was like the first round that they did. Oh wow, that's pretty you sweet. Know? Did yeah. don't you wish you still had that stuff? I do. <laughs> like, I I had an Ohio State one that I think got stolen. Oh yeah, that sounds right. And then <laughs> my mom bought me a new starter jacket and it was a Cowboys one because the Browns had left by then. Yeah. And I, so I was like into the Cowboys at that time. And because she didn't want it to get stolen, she wrote my name <laughs> in like laundry permanent marker so that they couldn't wash it off. So nobody yeah. would feel it. I had a Phoenix, I had a Phoenix Joaquin starter jacket. <laughs> <laughs> That was a dumb thing. I love that. That that was uh, the minor league hockey team, right? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Gordon Lafleur was the the point was the point guard. The point guard on the the Phoenix (laughs) Joaquins. I'm sorry. It's all right. No, you you are uh, grew up in Akron, so you're an Ohio native. Uh, and then how you, but you moved all around too, right? Like you weren't just in Akron. You, you, you've been kind of uh, like all over the place and you're in LA now. Yeah, that's right. So I grew up like Akron born and raised. So I didn't, I, I left Akron when I was about 24 and then I moved to South Bend, Indiana. And then I lived in Chicago and I lived in Eugene and then I ended up in Los Angeles and I've been out here since, uh, for almost 10 years. It's nine years this September. So 
Well, what made you go to South Bend? <laughs> I, I went to Notre Dame for graduate school. Oh, okay. Well, that makes <laughs> that's sense. That's like pretty much, yeah, that's like one of the main reasons you go to South Bend, I think, if not the Yeah, main. I was like, <laughs> that or you're at 24, judge, like, you know? 24, you're like, okay, but graduate school, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. What'd you, what'd you think of it? Like that whole, that Notre Dame culture? Because that, like, I've just been to the city it's, and it's yeah. insane. It's wild. It's like, you can't, nobody can prepare you for it, you know? Cause everybody's like, I mean, it's wild. And you're like, okay. And then you go and you're like, oh, it's, it's not just wild. It's like every moment of every day. I guess there's like a stat that like students, undergrads at Notre Dame have like the highest ratio of students in every classroom wearing Notre Dame apparel. <laughs> like, I don't know what scientists like needed to take that poll, but it's a very true, like if you poke your head into any classroom at Notre Dame, like 90% of the students are wearing a Notre Dame like shirt or sweatshirt or something, I have which is just like wild, you know? Well, I, I, the cult <laughs> theory works, but I think oh, it's yeah. because it's hand-me-downs because it's a bunch of Catholic kids <laughs> sure, that have yeah. the same clothes just passed <laughs> yeah. down through generations. Ev everyone knows those Catholic white kids can't afford anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Those Catholic white kids that are paying $100,000 a year to go to undergrad. <laughs> That's right. They have, to wear, they have to wear Uncle Dan's hand-me-downs. But I think right. it's well, true, though, because they want <laughs> to wear Uncle Dan's. That's it is right. the cult theory. They want to wear the, their, like, their big brother or whatever their clothes. Cause that like, was an, yeah. another starter jacket I had. Was was <laughs> the Dan. was the Memphis Uncle Dan? <laughs> uh, I'm glad they changed. I was a big name. fan of the Nashville Joe Bobs, you know. Yeah, they, yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they had they have a rich history. For are you, sure. you are <laughs> a huge baseball fan. Yeah. What is your favorite minor league? Uh, like your actual favorite? Because I have like sure. jumbo shrimp hat. I have uh, the rubber ducks, of course. Uh, yeah. There's a bunch of really. There, I have a what's the trash pandas hat. I, I really oh, yeah. love what they're doing with the minor league teams and the names and yeah. stuff. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I can't not say the Akron Rubber Ducks are my favorite minor league team, you know. But um, in terms of, like, hats, I actually have a Fort Wayne Wizards hat that is, like, they're not the Wizards anymore. They're the Tin Caps. But they used to just be the Wizards. And I think the Wizards is, like, one of the greatest mascots of all time because it's just a white guy. <laughs> it's just a white guy <laughs> in a hat on a hat, you know. Uh, and it's like it's so great you know it honestly could be any kind of a guy but it is just just a random white guy <laughs> with a hat and they're like hey, that's, <laughs> <a hat>. the <laughs> that it, that's it and then i also really like the hillsboro hops uh who are in uh oregon as well mainly though because it, it, i think it's once a week they do a throwback game and they wear portland mavericks full uniforms and so they actually have they put out of Portland Mavericks, which is probably honestly my favorite baseball team of all time. That's awesome. <laughs> like that, yeah, which if nobody, if people haven't heard of it, uh, they are, you know, like the, the story of the battered bastards of baseball, which is on Netflix, which is just like a great documentary about baseball and like Kurt what, Russell's what dad. I love about it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Dick Kurt Russell's oh, nice. dad played for them. Hmm. Yeah. That's very cool. I'll have to, I'll have to look into that. Um, I just feel the dreams has been like in the news because of yeah. the, the feel the dreams game a couple weeks ago. And that shows the state of baseball. One thing I like doing on the radio show is really talking down Babe Ruth. Uh, <laughs> sure. so, so today on, on the Alan Cox show, uh, I was just saying like how I'm not impressed by Babe Ruth because he wasn't playing against people that took it that serious. He didn't take it that serious. They're like, yeah, but yeah. that's against it. We're so good. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, but I like put any other player from now in that situation and it they like you could put a pitcher that not like Shohei Otani but like a pitcher that doesn't hit and they would be the best player in those yeah games. yeah you're right <laughs> yeah even a pitcher who doesn't hit anymore probably has better hitting mechanics than Babe Ruth ever had <laughs> right because they like just got trained to not hit only a couple of years ago I totally agree with you and not to like I think Babe Ruth that's the thing about time is that he was really lucky to be, to exist when he existed. Right. Like that's, that's the thing is like, you know, Michael Jordan, super lucky to exist when he existed, super talented and at the right time, you know? And like, I think that's why I, I can't remember. I think her name is Jackie Mitchell. I can't, I think that's her, her name. I wasn't prepared, so I don't have my footnotes, but she is the, the woman who was, I think 17 and she struck out Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. 
Oh, um, really? Yeah. Like there's actually this really wonderful podcast called the memory palace. And he, my friend, Nate DeMeo does a really great job of telling her story. And she actually like pitched professionally. Um, and is a great story of the opposite of time, which is that like, she wasn't actually lucky to have born when she was bo born because we didn't, you know, let women do things and we still right. don't in baseball, yeah. you know, you but correct. she uh, also proved your point, which is, I think she was an incredibly talented pitcher and proved that by striking out two of the best in the game at the time, you know. Uh, and you were correct. Jackie Mitchell was her name. So yes. Very good. <laughs> I feel uh, very good about that. Good transition. <laughs> you are now going by RB and uh, this that's right. A pretty recent uh, development, and uh, how how'd you come to uh, make this decision? And and you know, I feel like it's probably been a long time coming, and you just uh, felt like now was the time to do it. Yeah, I mean, the pandemic I feel like has uh, given a lot of us to keep on this time thing. <laughs> you know, it's given us a lot of time to spend with ourselves and like with people that we really care about and really care about us and um getting to spend that much time like with myself not really like working the same way that I was working and not like just going 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 all the time I got to really spend some time with myself and the things that I'd been experiencing for a while and so yeah changing uh what I'm what people call me <laughs> was just very helpful for me and it just felt right you know um because I you know I was sort of referring to myself as just like a non-binary person before and now I am a trans person who's also non-binary which they're not two separate things they're just kind of all within the same thing and so like right. I use uh they he pronouns and um will probably be changing my name in the near future but as somebody who has established themselves under a particular name it's like I'm taking it a little bit slower than someone who's way more famous than me like Elliot Page <laughs> like I'm just like taking a little more time to like do that and do it properly and um, and also that that goes to show the the commitment to and and just also the seriousness that goes into making a decision like this you've built a brand and now you have to <laughs> kind of rebuild that yeah. and obviously your fans will be on board but there's a lot of people that still can't wrap their mind around it mm -hmm. and it's just it's so much better like even though it's a lot of work and you have to kind of explain from time to time to people yeah. why you made these decisions it's still better than feeling like you're not being true to yourself oh 100 percent, bill that's true because i i that's i mean that's the trade right like and it's not even a trade it's just the experience mm -hmm. really i should say that um it is like i'll be totally honest it is like exhausting to talk about it all the time you know i would be lying if i was like it's super easy mm -hmm. but um i i don't I don't, I, I don't uh, like take it lightly, you know? So like um, I, I have been given the opportunity to be like lucky to be alive right now, you know, mm -hmm. and to be able to do this, like to have a comedy career as a queer person period is like pretty outstanding. Um, and to have like fans that care pretty outstanding, pretty lucky, pretty grateful for that. And so, also uh, to be hilarious while doing it, because <laughs> sure, I feel I, like, I you know, there's <laughs> the people that can get up there and they're, they're preachy about it you're absolutely hilarious and you are queer like that's it's it's yeah. not like you make it all about that like you have and and when you do talk about it it's it's not you have to understand what i'm doing or i hate like it's none of that stuff <laughs> yeah, so it's it's right. very enjoyable from someone that's not as immersed like i'm i'm very aware because my mm -hmm. son is trans he's 18 years old uh female to male trans and and like he's you know, he's, he's been through a lot. So like that, those parts I do appreciate because it helps me feel like I can understand him better. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's also just refreshing to just hear something new. I like hearing new yeah. ideas and new perspectives. And that's what I get from a comedian like you. Oh, I really, I mean, I really appreciate that. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> like, I, I don't, the, the same thing is true, you know, for for like any comedy like I'm just not into comedy that's like super antagonistic you know so I don't I want everybody to feel welcome you know like and I mean that like I want everybody to feel welcome and we're gonna have a good time you know and like sometimes like that album like up top I get a little like crusty or whatever but that's like as far as it goes you know like I I do 
I, I want to like share an experience with people. And, you know, I have like <laughs> straight cisgender hetero friends. Like I don't, you know, I don't like exist inside this like bubble that doesn't have a lot of people in it. And so my experience in my life is not, it might be through a certain experience that I want to share with other people, but it's not isolated to that. And it's not, it's not, to me, it's like not this theoretical thing that I'm talking about that is like an object, you know, it's like, right. it's, it's all the time. You know? yeah, it's a hundred percent of your life. You can't yeah, exactly. get away from it. So yeah, you're going to talk about it. And I think there's a lot of people that they do want to take the head in the sand approach because it means they have to think about something differently or they have yeah. to actually examine why they're so afraid of things being different. And, and, and it's really nice to, to be in a time where people can, be vocal about it and have support and and not be put in this certain box or not be uh, stereotyped a certain way because of of those situations. And you're always going to have the people that are going to push back and and be closed minded about it. But I mean, it's yeah. Th those are the same people that are like they're the most sensitive people, in my opinion. I know, they're very well, like you said, Bill. They're very scared. Yeah. And, like. I, I, the, here's the thing is like, I, I try my best not to point my finger too hard at people that are closed minded because like, uh, I have been in my life about, you know, whatever, and I will be again, probably, you know? So like that, that is the experience that I always want to share is that like, I don't think I'm some like highly evolved, enlightened being. I just have this experience that like, maybe somebody hasn't thought about how similar our lives could be. Cause like, I mean, that's the thing I'm from Akron. I'm not from, you know, like right. Beverly Hills or whatever. Like I grew up in the lakes and like the woods and all that stuff. Like it's mm -hmm. not that different from most people in Ohio, you know? And then a lot of people in Ohio, very similar to Indiana and Illinois and Pennsylvania, you know, it's like, we have a lot, so, so many similarities, you know, like yes. how many, how many people had starter jackets? You know, like, yeah, I, I wanted one. You know, as somebody who is very fearful and resistant to change, I feel like my mind is opening up right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have him here. Yeah. yeah, that's right. He used to I've changed. Yeah, he I'm used to not even let Tommy uh, have her hair out. No. no. <laughs> wow. No, I'm. I'm <laughs> that's not <laughs> true. <laughs> There's footage. I'm letting you guys take that one, you know. Yeah. Um, so you'll be at Hilarities uh, next week, uh, the, right. September 2nd. Uh, you can get tickets at hilarities.com. And then if you have you have other dates throughout the Midwest, I think you're doing Columbus. I don't anymore. Oh, you don't? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, they, I, I Pandemic. It. I, yeah, that's, I mean, the venue was just like the numbers were going up. And so um, I think, you know, for staff and for audience and everything, it was the right call. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'll see, <laughs> like, it's just, you know, it's, it's what happens these days. So I'll come back, you know? All right. Well, uh, at least we get to see you here in Cleveland. Yeah, that's uh, right. <laughs> Hilarity's doing a great job keeping everybody safe. They follow so that's many awesome. safety protocols. They're, they have a HVAC system that's tailor made for this kind of situation. So it, it helps. Nice. Uh, I wonder if my dad didn't put it in. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. My um, dad's a big HVAC. Well, not not these days, but that's what he used to do. Um, <laughs> what's it? What's HVAC? You know what I mean? What's HVAC? Is that SCB. like an acronym? What? I don't even know what that means. Um, so the the going back to baseball a little bit here. <laughs> yeah. Because AJ likes to derail things. Uh, <laughs> we the Indians are going to be the gladiators and not the gladiators, the gladiators. The guardian, guardian, guardian. Yeah, so, what a fucking idiot. gladiators would be wow that would be incredible well that was, was our in like... your arena football team but uh so now oh, we're the yeah. guardians uh and i know you're a reds fan i know you're a dodgers fan well this oh, i'm not a reds fan i was just wearing the hat for fun. okay I... I just... <laughs> okay no i'm not i'm no, not no. <laughs> yeah, but i know you're everybody... All my Cleveland fan friends are like, what's up with the hat, man? I'm like, I just got it when I went to see them in like 2018. Not a right. Reds fan. Well, as someone also that, like, hey, they're having a great year. Go Reds. You know what I mean? I, I don't have like a lot. The only Like I'll, I'll never own like a Yankees hat or like yeah, a Red Sox hat. But like yep. any small market team, I'm I'm fine with. Oh, yeah. Like I have a, a Rays hat from like the 90s, like logo. Yeah. Like I, I have a, I like the Rockies. Like I, I like. Yeah. 
any team that doesn't win, I'm a big fan of. <laughs> yeah, that's you're, right. Small market big, teams are a good bet, I feel like. You're a big fan <laughs> of the Eugene Hackmans. <laughs> ah, I like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just I really, talking. I really like that. <laughs> All right. So uh, I feel like somebody somebody in your audience has got to mock that up and needs to tweet it at me because that is a hat that I would wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, my friend that's like a super busy <laughs> designer, I'm like, hey, can you do Eugene Hackman's logo? So quick, and you know what? He will up. actually do it. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much for for coming on the podcast. Uh, appreciate yeah, having, you. having me. Uh, can't, I'm gonna definitely stop through and see you at hilarities next week oh yeah please do and uh i don't think we've actually met in person it'll be great we'll get yeah. to meet in person yep all right i'll <laughs> see you next week and uh, make sure you follow rb on all the socials uh at ria butcher still yeah uh, am i saying Taking it right? some time oh, yeah you pronounced it right yeah okay good. Mm-hmm. but sure. you don't need to worry about it for long it'll be different soon so yeah <laughs> well we're, we're trying to get them for at least this week yeah, and then, but no, uh, you got it you nailed yeah. it you knocked it out of the park all right. Thank you so much. And uh, again, check out their album on Spotify or buy it on iTunes. Uh, absolutely hilarious. Recorded in Denver at Comedy Works, which is one of the best clubs in the country. Uh, so just and you got more albums. So just just check out uh, all, all their stuff. Uh, and thank you so much. Peace. Nice meeting you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> this is what happens if I get up for a moment. She's so concerned. I hide the wig every week, and he always <laughs> finds it every week. I mean, it just is calling to him. What else should I be? It's like his symbiote. Like, <laughs> gonna be in the next Spider-Man movie. Oh, that trailer, dude! And yeah, looks so good. It made me buy all the like toby mcguire ones yeah I'm like, I'm like i haven't watched these in a long time yeah and uh so i bought them and i was watching the first one yesterday and i was like oh this is real corny i but i loved but it's, it it's it's all right yeah. i love the second one the second one's yeah. really good they they got some stuff figured out in the second one and then the third one are we actually doing the show right now yeah Oh, I didn't even know that. Why didn't you guys tell me that? So I, was I, don't know, I just figured us being here <laughs> talking was a good thing to... Do you want me yeah. to take this off? Do you want to wear it? He, I think he does. He puts it on every week. I don't put it on every week. You wore it last week. You, you put it on my on head. Her. I know, but you wore it like the There's entire time. Yeah, she wore it for like the last six minutes. Right. <laughs> I don't want to wear it. Okay. All right. So this week... The fucking... We're mixing up Tom memes with the jokes, and we're just going to smash them all together. So uh, I think we'll go with I'll tell a joke first. And then I also have to pull up. It is your show. It is my show. I do have to get the Tom memes ready, though. I'm doing a little uh, joke dance. (laughs) Was that your first joke? Just this? That was my first joke. Just shimmering? Just shimmering. Shimmying. Shimmying. Shimmering. Are shimmering? <laughs> you are now a vampire. All right. Let me make sure all the Tom memes are ready to go. They should all have one. Be ready. All right. Can we put that one on? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. That's fine. I was a bit uh, confused what right. can and cannot go on the interwe- interwebs. It's just, yeah. Really? Because uh, you do a pretty good job of putting things yeah, but on the, the that's behind yeah. it. You have to pay for it. It's a paywall. <laughs> All <laughs> right, my first joke. Uh, Krispy Kreme has announced that they are giving away two free donuts to anybody that has at least one shot of the vaccine. Insulin sold separately. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> ah, <laughs> insulin sold separately. Mm-hmm. Do you know for an exorbitant <laughs> price. Do you guys know any diabetics? I don't. The thing know. ran down. Yeah, sorry. You don't know any diabetics? Uh, uh yeah, my mom. Oh, how's she Brian doing? Brian Kenny. Oh, Brian Kenny is a diabetic. Yeah. Wow, good for him. Good for him. It is. It's the good it's a, his greatest accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, he and he's an accomplished fella, but I think uh being a diet the diabetes living with diabetes, yeah, is uh and he lives quite it. accomplishment. All right, Tom Ean. All right. This first one is Bell, <laughs> and instead of a rose, it's a 
Uh, it's a, pl- a, little, a pleasuring. It's a purple item. crab. You can say right? vibrator. <laughs> That's a <laughs> vibrator. Like fucking cunt on this show. <laughs> That's oh, a, vibrator. a vibrator. It's, yeah. a, you know, the, it's the, the rabbit. rabbit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I didn't, for this angle, I couldn't really see so, it. So she's going to stick that in her body. I think it's funny that, like, all the, like, girl toys have, like, it's like a rabbit or like a dolphin <laughs> and it's like a cute animal. <laughs> but, like, they never came out with, like, like the pit bull or Ooh, you, like, yeah. like guys ones are like it's like a half a torso <laughs> and you just be like yeah I, I, this is sexy I don't know this. but like they never came they never tried to go like macho like and be like yeah fuck the pit bull <laughs> i always thought about buying one of those butts uh-huh. yeah but i can't i never did because i'm like am i gonna spend 395 dollars on that butt i mean that would kind of be cool yeah but i'm not gonna spend the money on it and then well, like, maybe we should start it. a go Fund me a go butt. Go fund me a go, go, go butt me to get AJ a fake butt. Yeah. yeah. But and then what, what would you do with the butt? I'd fuck the butt. Okay. What do you mean? What would I do? Is that with your the butt? thing that you want to fuck the most? Is a butt? No, I just think the butt's funny. Oh, wait, hold on. Can you smack it? I just saw something. Does it stop. jiggle a little bit? I don't know. Okay. That seems to be okay. Uh, I got nervous because I saw the camera up there do a little weird something. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no, I don't want blinky wanna... light. Yeah, a little blinky <laughs> light. So it's just like this is that's the AJ uh, fake butt light. Yes. <laughs> uh, an Indian man died earlier this week after using adhesive instead of a condom while having sex with his ex fiance after they started seeing each other again. His fiance is obviously heartbroken and said, even in death, there's nothing that could pull us apart. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Little gorilla glue joke. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, poor, poor Indian fella. Yeah. Not the poorest though. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can no, afford like, glue. No, I, I don't know like how he did it. Like I'm imagining he just like just put like an epoxy <laughs> around the tip of his penis so he wouldn't like ejaculate. I don't know how oh, it killed him. That would like yeah, that's not a good idea. Don't well, do he that. died. Yeah, good. Yeah, well. We don't want him <laughs> anymore. <laughs> We don't want him anymore. Um, I used to have a joke where I did like an Indian voice, like a stereotype, like I was talking to someone trying to collect like credit card debt, mm-hmm. and I do like the like that kind mm-hmm. of voice. And I want to bring it back, but I want to have our friend Raj, who's from India, mm-hmm. record the voice and be like, "I used to have this bit. It was kind of racist, and so I'm gonna have an Indian. You? So I'm gonna have an Indian guy do the the voice and uh." then it'll just be in, but he speaks like perfect english yeah and he's got oh, no accent <laughs> so so i'll be like yeah so here's uh and like i'll play like a little bit of the old bit and then i'll be like and now here's um my friend doing it to is my kind of apology mm-hmm. and then it'll just be a raj like hey pay your fucking credit card you <laughs> dumb piece of shit <laughs> yeah, like, uh, is he, he's not gonna put adhesive on his penis is he i really could talk him into it you can't together. stop looking at yourself. Put them together. No, I. It's weird. I don't like. I don't like it. Why? No, because it, it's it's distracting me. Because it's usually like that way. Do you want me to turn it this way? Yeah, if you can. Okay. Please. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Who's my turn for a joke? Right. Yeah. All right. All right. Nirvana is getting sued by the baby from the cover of the Nevermind album. He's all grown up, and he says that that is actually child pornography. And when asked how he can prove that it's child pornography, he said, well, of course it's child pornography. I jerk off to it every day. Oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> wow. That's that, how he's going to win his lawsuit. <laughs> that one, I think, is way better than my Nirvana baby joke that I wrote today. <laughs> Did you write one? Yeah, what? I wrote one. <laughs> Should I do it right now or are we going to a meme? Uh, let's, yeah, let's get to a meme. Let's stay in order. Uh, this meme. This one says when the pandemic is over, every town in the South should have a statue of the coronavirus so they don't forget their history. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very funny. Because <laughs> <like that. laughs> they love, that's how they learn history there. Yes, right. yeah. It's the statue. statues. <laughs> Who was that man? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, All right, you want to do your Nirvana joke? Yeah, I can do my Nirvana yeah. joke. It's not as good as yours. And you might need to pull up uh, the image. Oh, okay. Well, I'll um, throw it up on the right. Thing. The naked baby on the cover of Nirvana's Nevermind album is suing the band for child pornography. It shows that just after all these years, that kid is still chasing dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? You see the yeah, little, 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 little dollar yeah, the baby's yeah. chasing. Yeah. And that 
baby has grown up and is a grown man, and now jacks off to a picture of himself as a baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's chasing his money. It's to, all about to money. make sure that it's child pornography. <sighs> <laughs> like, he, like that dude is seeking a judge to tell him that he was it was child porn yeah that's i mean yeah. i remember being a little kid i'm just like they're just showing a baby's dick on this album like right. thinking it was weird i mean yeah i thought it was weird but not but like... i never like it was never it, it was sexual. never sexual yeah, i never it was never like yeah. sexualized i'm yeah. just like okay it's a it's a baby dick i'm like that's weird but i can see a scenario where a pervert like has like yeah probably yeah. You know, a million <laughs> copies of Do never you think mind he's upset with his parents too because like yeah, they had yeah, to have I like think, signed off well because they they only paid got paid 200 bucks for it what really yeah, i didn't know that so that's, yeah that would become one you of gotta the get them back end residuals right. to make sure your baby doesn't sue the band <laughs> all right my next joke is about only fans only fans last week announced that they are going to ban explicit content starting october 1st today they reversed that decision and said they're suspending that which is excellent news for tommy put it as in her in her body. to know what we're talking about <laughs> <laughs> did you post that video of you like realizing no, you got it stuck no, I, you should i should yeah, yeah it's, it's really, really should. funny it's really funny it's, it's a really you don't have to like show the explicit thing like yeah. the look on your face it just says, tells the whole story. So you have a look on your face that says, I just got an egg stuck in my cunt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my God, I know that look. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, next meme from Tommy. This one is Chris Pine. At first, it's an article that says Chris Pine reportedly in talks with Kevin. How do you say his last Feige. name? Feige. Feige to join the MCU. And then at the bottom, it says, after all these years, finally, I have them all. And it's all the Chris's that are in the Marvel oh movies. Gosh. The all same white, all, blonde all the, males. Yeah, all the, Chris. the cracker Chris's. All right. So there's Chris Hemsworth, Chris Pratt, Chris Evans, and Chris Pine. Yes. Uh, of those four, who's your top Chris? Do, how, about, how about I rank my Chris's? I think Chris Pine is so ugly. You think oh, he's ugly? Oh, Chris. he's ugly. My Evans is the best. Oh, yeah. Evans is the best. Handsome. Yeah, because he's funny. Mm -hmm. He's handsome. Yes. He's handsome in America. And he's They're all he's pretty cat. funny, though. And we no, love no, America they, they here. Are, are Chris funny. Pratt's hilarious. Uh, he's Chris, kind of a fuck. But he's kind of a fuck because he got like, I don't know, like when he got weird, weird religious. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I used know, to but, love it. But he also is married to Arnold Schwarzenegger's yeah. daughter, which is pretty cool. <laughs> right, pretty cool. Like his, his father-in-law is Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger. I, yeah, I, but no, this has nothing to do with that. I, I think he is my least favorite Chris, though. Oh, I really? think, yeah. See, he is probably number two for me because of how much I love Parks and Rec. Dude, he's so good in Parks, Parks and Rec. And Rec. He wasn't even supposed to be a primary Rick, character. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But but Evans is my favorite because and he and he does good things. Yes, he, yes, he does. Very, well, they all do good, good things. Guy. I will say they, they all, do all do good things. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I take it back. Hemsworth is my least favorite, Chris. Okay. Because oh. I hear he's kind of a he's kind of a jerk. But he's hot. Yeah, he, that, that's what I hear. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I believe it. I think they're probably like, but that's the thing. Like, I never believe the he's a jerk shit because. No, I have like direct evidence about him being a jerk. Oh yeah, yeah. From mm. uh, okay, so so my cousin went to go meet him when he was a little kid, mm -hmm. and he was like, "I don't want them touching me. I don't want the children." Touching <laughs> I mean, me, me neither. I wouldn't want the kids. <laughs> no, touching I know. Me either. That's he disgusting. Was like, he was just like, "Okay, just smile," and they like smiled at the cat. And That's like, fine. Like, Maybe he was trying to be funny. And the kid just doesn't have a sense of humor. I don't know. I don't know. It's I don't know. I just kind of get it. He was a little standoffish, but That's fine. I, but People have listen. Bad days fine. Here's the thing. That's my least favorite again. Then I'm going to tell you this. Fine, Bill. As someone that has done like meet and greets on a much smaller scale yeah i can like you no, get don't the hemsworth thing i get the hemsworth don't touch like, me like those, <laughs> those are I'm doing a good hemsworth. they're grueling like they're I do, you don't think i'm doing they're right? not like super fun especially if you like you don't want to be touched <laughs> no, ask me ask me what did you do what did you do i went for the head does <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> I'm Thor. I am Thor. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say my favorite. I'm gonna, you know, just. I think I might put. Hmm, I do love Thor. Chris Evans though. 
Mm-hmm. I'm the I think Chris Evans is the actual best actor of them all, too. Yes. He's See, a, I think I think Pine is the best role. actor. I think Pine's the best actor of them. I just hate his face. Uh, okay, okay. Hemsworth I mean, is the most handsome. No, Chris Evans, and then I'm Hemsworth. Doing my Chris's. Oh. I'm talking about oh. my Chris's, Tommy. Yours don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tommy, you crushed him. So you win this week's Nobody episode. Cares about my fucking Chris's. All right. Nobody cares about my Christmas. I care about your Christmas, no, buddy. You I care about your Christmas. You are your joke. lying to my face. <laughs> All right. But I never said my favorite oh, Chris. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go Christoph Waltz. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, I'm going to go. I, I'm going to agree man. with you guys, too. I'm going to go Chris Evans is number one. Yeah. It's, it's the way you got to go. It's just good all around. And then I'm going to put Pine for Pratt, two, and Hemsworth, three. To, to rank them all. All right. Next joke by AJ. I'm not even going to get to write my Chris's. <laughs> I thought you already did. Fucking joke. I didn't even get to write my Chris's. Everyone's going to write my Chris's. Nobody cares about my Chris's. Rate your Chris. Rate your Chris. I think yeah. we have the same. No, I think we have the same I don't rating. Want to. I, all right. Can we guess your rating? No. Because it's it's Chris Evans first. Mm-hmm. Chris Pine is two. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chris Hemsworth is three, and Chris Pratt is four. See, but I didn't get to say. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to say. And that's what hurts. Oh, okay. That's, and that's what, what hurts, hurts the most. <laughs> you know what hurts the most? The lack of respect. Except for the other thing. The other thing hurts the most. You ever seen Dirty Work? Best movie. <laughs> that's a good movie. 68-year-old Mexican actress Lynn May announced that she is pregnant at the age of 68. I just said that at the beginning. <laughs> when asked about how she feels about being a mother at her age, she responded with, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole this. It's you really should not old. be having a baby getting, at that. Jizzed. In, in the age of oh no, that's not a jizzed in pregnancy. No, oh, yeah, it was. There's yeah. no way. Yeah, it was. They had to put a fucking no. egg in there. No, 68 year old has eggs still. Oh my god. Farted. Some, some How old hot, is he? Frothy jizz <laughs> what is this baby vagina? gonna look like when it comes out? Of <laughs> no, it's I don't fucking know. raisin. <laughs> it's gonna be raisin. Mm-hmm. That's too old. There, there has to be like, I don't know, man, an egg shot up in there from somebody uh, else <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe it it's a miracle all right my turn for a joke mm-hmm. but there is i mean if she has the baby she's 68 right she doesn't have to deal with it very long no, a third no. of her life is over right. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know well the baby a third of the baby's life is probably over because it's not going to be a healthy baby no. <laughs> I don't know. She's a Mexican actress. She has that Mexican actress money. Okay. <laughs> uh, Trump was in Alabama, and while he was there holding a rally, he told his fans that they should get vaccinated. They all started booing him, which made a very stinky cloud because they don't even believe in the powers of mouthwash. <laughs> oh, stinky mouth. Stinky mouth. I'm stinky sure. mouth, Trump. Because Alabama. <laughs> well, that's, not, that's more of a joke about Alabama. Not just Trump supporters. Oh, okay. Alabama, bad stinky, teeth, stinky South. gentlemen. It's just stinky mouth. Bunch of stinky people. Okay. This one's <laughs> <laughs> my butthole waiting for me to finish looking at me so I can finally wipe it. Okay. If you, <laughs> I really... if you are just listening, you need to go to YouTube <laughs> and look at this meme because, goddamn, that's funny but disgusting. It's so that, gross. Um, <laughs> That one really hits me yeah. in a very uh, visceral way. <laughs> I'm uh, that makes me very uncomfortable. Would, yeah. I packed. never want to look at that child's <laughs> face ever again. Uh, and I probably won't ever eat a uh, cake ever again. Ever again. Ever. What is this from? I can't remember. Matilda. Is it? Oh, Matilda. Yes. That's yeah. right. Oh. It's a little, uh, a little it's fat boy from Matilda with yeah, chocolate, all over, chocolate all over his face. <laughs> oh my! Oh, gosh. that's disgusting. But goddamn, it's funny. <laughs> I just realized something. Tommy's got way more memes than we have jokes. Oh, really? No, we don't, you can cut it off and we nope. can use them. Yeah. We're going through all your memes. I like your memes. <sighs> you like the memes? I like right. your memes. Right. Chrissy Teigen cuts a hole in her mansion wall so she can rescue her pet hamster. So that's where that thing went, said Richard Gere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I believe that to be true. The about Richard, Richard Gere? Gere? That Richard Gere likes to put rodents in his uh, bottom. <laughs> 
believe that to be so. Why do you believe that? Because, because that you is want such to? a no. Well, I want it to be true. Yeah. Yes, I will say that. I'm going to say I want it to be so. Um, but that is just such a weird thing just to come out of thin air. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? Odd. Like that is such an oddly specific thing that to just somebody made up somewhere. I just don't think. I don't know how you'd do it. You know how he'd do it, but like, how do you get a practice? Are they alive or frozen? I think think it's supposed to be alive. Well, no, I think it is actually supposed to be frozen. Oh, is it? And then it thaws out. That's less weird. That's like, but then it's dead. Oh yeah. No, not necessarily. It can just be frozen. You won't like. Do you know how DC Universe like no. humans work? Yeah, it's not, well, no, it's not like mean, Captain America. Okay, wrote maybe it. I don't. Okay, <laughs> guys, I don't know how it works. Yeah. All right, I'm just maybe making. Do you up. think maybe, we can yeah. just freeze mice and then I saw it them? happen with like a bumblebee. I saw somebody like freeze a, a bumblebee. Is different than a rodent. Oh, now we're fucking making shit up. Now we're just no, making I, shit up I, right I, now. I, you can put. You can shock like a bumblebee or like a fly because of the way insects are built is very different than the way a mammal is built mm. I you freeze I, they did it on uh cky2k yeah I saw that. like so they freeze a bumblebee and then they tie it to a string and then oh, it like yeah. thaws out and starts flying around on the string hmm. yeah That's sad. it is but it was <laughs> neat to watch <laughs> it was neat to watch as a child all right you got a joke yeah 1,500-year-old skeletal remains of a couple buried in an eternal embrace were recently found by archaeologists in China. The cause of death is likely to be unknown, but researchers <laughs> suspect that it may have something to do with adhesive. <laughs> <laughs> you like putting the callbacks in your jokes. I love the callbacks <laughs> in the jokes, especially like when it's a good one. Yeah. yeah. When it's a good one. I like it. It is a good callback. Thank you. Uh, South Dakota recently held the motorcycle rally, and it has quintupled the amount of COVID cases in all of South Dakota. They are now at five. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. Oh, my gosh. I was involved with somebody from South Dakota. Oh, yeah? Dynamite in the sack. Oh. Dynamite in the sack. Do you think it's because of the state? I have no idea. Is it because they're a buffalo? No, I think it's because she <laughs> liked putting my penis in her mouth. That's a, that's a, a good lot. thing that a girl can do. Yeah, she was great at it. Nice. Lots of teeth. Yeah, lots of teeth. Always in the cheek. Yeah, it stuck yeah, a finger in my ladies. pee hole. Pee hole? My, her entire finger went down. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, take notes, ladies. These are the mm-hmm. things, guys. They don't want to tell you. Put your finger good. in his pee hole. In the pee hole. Munch on it like it's bubble gum. <laughs> 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 All right, next meme. Okay. The Tom memes. Okay, this one says it's like the stores. No <laughs> shoes, no shirt, no mask, no service. And then we've oh. got Kid Rock stomping down now. An aisle at the grocery store <laughs> with no shirt, no shoes, and no mask. Precisely. What a disgusting man! If Taco Bell was a person, that's what I imagine Kid Rock would look like. I just feel like if meth was a person, if meth was a person, look like he would do meth. Yeah, but he doesn't. That's just how he looks. But the thing is, yeah. good for him. That shows you the power of music. That's right. <laughs> he is a millionaire. He has had he incredibly wants. hot women, looks and like he that. looks like. I mean, he he is white trash incarnate. Like he, <laughs> right, yeah. Like if the if you said, like do a, make me a person that looks white trash, it would look it like, like him. That. Yes. Yeah. 100%. So, good for I say good for him. Yeah. You know I don't like his music, or his politics, or anything like that. I do re- respect that he can can play mu- music, and he looks. Like he is, he looks like a can of soup. <laughs> he looks like Willem Dafoe if he never left Michigan. <laughs> and here he is, just with that wow. long, stringy hair. Is that the, the dirt stash? Is that like the junk food aisle? Is that like, yeah, yeah junk food that's, aisle. that's where he's going. Yeah, yeah. All right, 
You got one last joke? You got a joke? No, I did all my oh, five. You did all five? I did my five. You yeah. must have done some back to back. Yeah, you did two. I did two, or you told me you were like, give us another job. I'm like, all right. <laughs> all right well, okay. It's your show. It is my show. All right. Well, let's take it home with the rest of the Tom memes. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> this one says, my fall plans, and that's a grapefruit. And then it says the Delta variant. And I forget her name, but it's an iconic YouTube video. As a matter of fact, we're going to pull watch it, it up. She's still um a sex educator she's like if you look her up on instagram she's got like sex education videos and stuff i don't even know i'm not familiar. Um, you don't know gosh. this okay you're gonna need your headphones on oh yeah grapefruit don't get a boner all right this is gonna wow it's gonna blow your mind <laughs> now this is my bonus technique the grapefruit Normally you can only get this technique in one of my classes, but I want to share this with you because I believe every man should get grapefruited. When you grapefruit your man, it's going to feel as if you are giving him head and fucking him at the same time. (laughs) No better feeling. So I'm just going to skip ahead. So she cuts out the middle of a grapefruit and then puts it around a delto and then shows you how to do it. Suck his dick. That's like you said you were going to do. <laughs> Once he's nice and erect, what you're going to do is replace the grapefruit from your mouth. You're going to twist up and down on his shaft and suck the head at the same time. <laughs> the sound is. Now, ladies, remember. Uh, the sound is inc- the. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. So she's suggesting that you put the grapefruit around the penis. Yeah, yeah. that would hurt. It would, don't you think it would sting? Yeah, it the would citrus sting would burn much. the yeah. fuck out of you. I don't like that. I don't want to do that. I don't think you should do that. But three thousand people did it, and do not like <laughs> this video. <laughs> uh, uh, so if you, I'm not going to put this video on this episode because I like it'll probably get flagged. Yeah. I don't know how it's on YouTube, but uh, I don't want our account to get any like knocks against it. So if you haven't seen it, it's uh, just search the grapefruit technique, but the sound alone it's just tells wonderful. the whole story. Yeah. yeah, It's it's pretty great. All right. Next meme. Is... Next meme. Oh, wait. Was that it? Is that the last that one? That was it. Okay. it was... No, oh, wait. Uh, no. no, no, no yeah. Okay. This one's like the girl and the guy texting. She goes, I'm really not or no i'm just not really in a good state right now damn ohio yeah i like that that's silly i like ohio Ohio. i like ohio yeah that's fun i like living here Mm -hmm. we sound like hostages we do (laughs) uh, we we like it here this is where we call it yeah it's cool i like living here we're the happy a whole bunch Mm -hmm. that's really funny and next one on the left, it's Joaquin Phoenix, the Phoenix Joaquins saying, learning that Facebook quizzes sell your data. And it's him as a joker, sad. And then on the right, it's him finding out you are sourdough bread. <laughs> <laughs> so happy joker. Yeah, happy joker. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think of that movie? I, I was good. It was lovely. Yeah, I, I loved fun. it. The thing is, I don't think I can watch it again. <sighs> it was intense. Yeah, like I watched it with like, it's depressing. I, it is depressing, and also like, I I tried to watch it again, and like his weirdness, and like I'm just like it I don't want. I don't want. I I liked it the first time. I don't want to like wreck it yeah. by like yeah. overanalyzing it because mm-hmm. I can do that with stuff. So yeah, but it, it was a great performance, great movie, but mm-hmm. it's a it's a one time view for me. Yeah, yeah the Phoenix Joaquins. <laughs> yeah, bringing it all back around. <laughs> all right, we got any more? Accident. Oh yeah, There's so many. Okay. This one was a guy praying. I admit it, God. I thought he said jungle beats. Holla at me. Do you know that from like in the beginning of rap songs? I, what? In in the beginning of rap songs, like there's certain songs like by like producers or whatever. Uh-huh. And you know how they have like their like catchphrase or whatever. Uh-huh. Have you not heard this one? I don't the even. One that I don't says, know enough rap. No. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's just going to flop. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right. Well, this is a really good meme, guys. For those <laughs> that know rap. For those Tell that, that know rap. Yes. We Tell don't know me. rap. I always thought it was Jungle Beats. Holla at me too. What is it? It's a guy's name. It's like, but I don't know the name. Uh, I've never heard the name before. It was like, I don't know. 
Mm, I don't remember. Uh, so in this case, it is Jungle Beats holla at me. Yeah. Yep. God, you guys suck. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, All right. On the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. Uh, oh, I got shiny during this episode. <laughs> got warm in here. All right. Uh, thanks for checking out the Bill Squire show. Don't forget to check out the Alan Cox show. That is uh, weekdays two to six on WMMS 100.7 in Cleveland, or you can check it out on iHeartRadio. Or wherever you get your apps, uh, wherever you get your apps, wherever you get your podcasts, and wherever and, you get your podcast apps, and YouTube, uh, we do a live stream every day. That's archived at alancockshow.com. Uh, check out my new album, Bam Bam, on any platform that you listen to music on. Uh, and then this comes out Friday. Where am I going to be? Oh, jokes on you this Sunday at Hilarities. Come check that out. It's a very you go. cool crowd work show. Uh, AJ, you got anything? Yeah, I have a new album coming out. It's called Bam Bam. What oh, that talking about? Um, it's, is that uh, what your grandma calls you? Yeah, that's what my mom calls me. Oh, yeah. okay. that's what actually that's what Bill's mom calls me. Oh no, man, <laughs> your mom. <laughs> anyway, at AJ to Cosmo on social media. And uh, on he's only on Twitter and Instagram and uh, Snapchat. And then, <laughs> Tommy, you got uh, some new things going on. Yes, I'm still on OnlyFans, but I'm also on Fansly now. So check so, that out. Check that out. Only yes. Fansly. Only Fansly. Yep. Well, thank you guys all so much for checking out this episode and uh, suck my butt. Hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week. This is the Bill Squire Show. Squire Show.